Hi guys, welcome back to Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Uh, first of all, I have no idea why I'm underwater. Okay. So that's where the game spawns you after that. Uh, I guess we have to watch that cutscene again. Well, not really. I'm going to just skip it. Yeah. That opens that up. Um. So let's try it on up. Hey! Is that the thick burnt berry? Where? I can't see. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, the referencing the bats that you would have had to shoot in the barn, but... Screw that, you can just platform across. So this world is called the Bat Tower, happily named. Basically climbing a tower, because why not? I've always uh, kind of liked this world because just because it's a bit more peaceful and easygoing compared to other worlds later on. This is kind of pleasant. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Feels like he's being blocked by a force. Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> well, that almost worked. Well, I can actually see his heart. It's kind of creepy. How much money do I have? 900. Sure, why? Maybe it's because I have to work 34 hours. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm giving myself Fridays off from now on. I do homework. Uh, okay, now he jumps high. I don't know why he went before. Hey, because I was far enough away from the invisible barrier. I was on the very corner of that. So, yeah. You really don't have to go through all the crappy balance beams shooting down the bats. You can just jump your way up here. Just, I don't know if you can fall off this edge. Uh, looks like you can. Just be careful. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're on the very top of the tower. It's kind of pretty. It's pretty cool because from here you get you get a view of. Um, well, I don't think you can do it here. Well, basically, you get a view of some of the worlds in the background. Like, there's the castle. There's an enemy you gotta watch out for. Uh, there's a little ghost house. We're gonna go there later. Oh, boy. Um, there's the barn. Yeah, when I thought, when I think that uh, the barn was actually kind of enclosed in a giant wooded area, like a tree, it's pretty neat. Uh, there's a little fortress. Yeah, that's gonna be a crazy place later. Kind of reminds me of Mario's Sunshine, how you get to see the other worlds from, you know, the 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 current world you're in. Wish other games would do that. This is a neat little effect. Cool. 
So yeah, all that was pretty much to grab some dough. Okay, okay, at least that wasn't much fall damage. So just get down all easy like. Um, and we now have a thousand dollars. Well, if we want to, we can just go to the next world, but <laughs> what's the point if we don't complete the game, right? Really just coming out just in the hopes that it was saved because I don't want to climb up that tower again. I think we had to talk to that dude anyway because he died the one time. Let's see if the cutscene repeats. Okay. One of that will save the cash from now on. I think we had to go up there anyway, cause there's, um, like a switch. Oh, we get to see that cutscene again, but not really. So I think there's like a switch somewhere up here. And really, my my knowledge on this game is real solely based on um, other playthroughs because I never played this game. For that reason, I can't really hold it. I can't really be happy for it. Can't hold it close to my heart like I can Banjo. And all, and all in all, um, even if this game is good in its own right, um, it's just not as good as Banjo. Hold on. Oh yeah, I can stand on these, uh, spider webs. Pretty cool. You don't need to get stuck for some reason. Well, you didn't get stuck in DK64, so why, huh? How do you go first person? There we go. Let's drop back down. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's it. And die. Let's conquer, no grab. And yeah, this game has um, zero lives, that's pretty good. Let me guess. The cutscene plays again. Yeah. I guess it just plays any like any time you come up here. Or, or maybe if you leave the area at least. Ugh, balance, you idiot. Ugh, okay, why is he not staying on that well? Ow. Well, if I die, I can, uh, you can see what the game over screen looks like.
I've always been a fan of climb high towers in video games. You know, why, you know, why can't I just platform over to that spider web? Yeah, they really put that there for convenience. Okay, where's the lever at? Okay, yeah, it leads right to it. Oh, uh, that's what the spy web's for. Just, just catch you. And it, since it's a sticky ground, uh, you won't take fall damage, so. Ow. Ow. Okay. So let's do that open up. Now, the question is what if I leave? Killed by the dogfish. All right. Well, I guess we get to see the game over screen then. So yeah, okay. I guess, uh, yeah, there's different kinds of game I've ever seen. Okay, good, it stays open, so I don't want to worry about going up there again. So there's different kinds of game I've ever seen, and that one was for an underwater death. So, yeah, it's basically underwater section right here. It's kind of complex. But everywhere rare game needs one. And here's what we gotta collect. Or not. <laughs> that looks better. So yeah, naturally everything has to be alive and they're lady cogs because we get a good implied joke. Kids won't know it, but we do. Da -da -da. See, this area is kind of pretty. Uh, 
think there's another one in this little cave. Hmm. Or is it on this side? Okay, okay, they're both here. That's pretty neat. Got kind of lazy with that deal. They couldn't hide the third one. This guy's just super creepy, but he's harmless. Like, the big one don't even have any dialogue. So, let's just get the third one in the same place. I like the bees, where there's five different bees that are hidden around the world. A little annoying, but still. Okay, seems like jumping helps. Yeah, okay, gotta jump to her. So we gotta run in the direction of the arrow again. Spin the cogs. Yes, and I'll think you'll find that your little problem outside has been thoroughly taken care of. Of course. Now, good day to you, sir. Oh, talking of <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. Hey! Oh. Come on, ladies. It's the Caribbean Furs. Oh. 
So yeah, he's pretty much stuck there forever. I guess it's a fitting fate. For both the evil cog and for the, well, the gay cog. And yeah, we get two two types of classy ladies in here: the cogs and the catfish, which are terms that would apply to them well in real life. So, <laughs> all right. So the dogfish is stuck there now. We can go get catfish. I'm gonna get an extra life while we're here. And then these random enemies just come out. Yeah, it has to get scary music over here. Yeah, just jump and fly, that's the best strategy. Seems like those catfish are swimming. They're swimming dangerously clip. <laughs> wow, they're they're like in perfect range. Wow, <laughs> that dog's in perfect range to eat one of them. They eat all of them, really. It's because they're programmed to follow me. <laughs> that dog just he just stay above the dog and he'll eat them all. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Weird. Hello? Um, uh, hello? Money? Money? What the hell are you? Do I have my boss? Go out here! I'm strong with the fishing! <sighs> this gate gets worse and worse by the minute. Yeah. Not that easy, game. So, uh, here's a little puzzle. It's really, uh, imprecise aiming controls. Ow! Okay, so if you just hit the wheel, then you'll get hurt. Yes, yeah, so we're trying to spell open here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, it seems like they prevent you from avoiding it. Okay, you can avoid it. So yeah, we're going, it's pretty dark. This is kind of an underwater maze. out of breath. So yeah, this, this is one of those games where if you run out of breath, you lose your normal health. So, yeah, just be careful. Traversing through here. place where I can at least like out. At least really these a chance to gain breath whenever you can. Let's conquer all those drinking habits. You don't have much Yeah, I should have got this one. Because I didn't because the bubbles didn't spawn right away. Now you can go through here. Okay. I guess we had to refuel the uh, light or something. Go through here. Here's a switch. That area was a 
place was yellow just now, so maybe we have to go down this yellow cave. Go on, go on this one, just because that thing's from through it. There it is.